Okay. I'm going to talk about automating BIOS FX, in particular the wire pedal, and also linking it up with a remote controller, such as this Vox Tone Lab and the expression pedal on there. Now, I can't tell you how much trouble this is. I mean, it's just, I, it seems to be needlessly complicated. I don't really know why. But let's start off here. I've got a blank session. All I've done is I've put a, a bit of a test guitar track there, but let's drag an instance of BIOS FX2 on to the track. And I'll walk through the way that I've worked out how to do this because some of the default methods in Studio One don't seem to work. Uh, let's go here, I've got a... Let's have this one here. Yep, let me turn that off. And let's add a wire pedal. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a wire pedal there in a the session. Now, normally in Studio One, you'd be able to touch the controller and it would appear here in the parameter box. Um, if we go through and make sure we've got MIDI settings, MIDI control enabled. Um, then we go to, let me ignore that one. Let's just go to automation. Let's choose zero. Done. So let's ignore the assignment. Let's just ignore the assignment because I don't think that works. I don't think you need to do that in Studio One. I think that's just for controlling it as a standalone plugin. So there we've got the automation to zero. Now, there's still this problem where you can't seem to get the parameter to show up. Um, so it seems as though what you have to do is you have to go to automation mode, add remove parameters, click zero, add, close. And then we get an automation track here. And you'll see that that's actually linked up. Now, that doesn't appear in this menu here. See, we've got pan track volume recently touched. But if you go over here and you right click on the automation and go assign zero to control one on Vox Tone Lab, there it does appear. And further on that point, We've got control. Um, so let's set this to right. And then we only have to hit play, as far as I can remember, I only have to hit play on the on here, but it should still write. <laughs> And let's put that back to read. Now, is that the easiest way to do it? If you've got a better way, I'd love to see a video of how you do it. Because uh, I think it's the, the, first, the first factor is that the parameter doesn't show up there in that box until you do all, you know, jump through the hoops here. It seems a little bit convoluted, to say the least. But if you've got a better way, please um, put it into the comments or make, or make a video or something, because I'm sure other people have had this, this problem. It seems, it seems needlessly complicated. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.